We see that lots of IVF patients are being taken for a ride by IVF clinics. And this is especially true for the corporate chains of IVF clinics, which are funded by PE players whose only focus is on maximizing their revenue. And they know that the best way to maximize the revenue is to provide lab reports which are unreliable and are actually incorrect and wrong. Let me explain to you how the game is played. Now, whenever a patient comes into an IVF clinic, they say, fine, we understand that there is a problem. We will do all the tests for you. Patients are quite happy to get the test done in a single place because, hey, guess what? This is a brand name IVF clinic. It's India's largest. It's got the most centers. It's got the highest success rates according to their website. So they're quite happy. And most patients are quite trusting because they don't know any better. So they're quite happy to do that particular test in that particular lab. And most of these labs will have a standard panel of tests, which they give at a discounted rate. But the problem is that they will provide unreliable, untrustworthy reports. Now, for some things, it's hard to cheat. So that, for example, if you're doing blood test reports using standard test kits, then you can't lie on them because it's all automated. But there is one test which it's very easy to lie on or which a lot of labs will take advantage. And in these IVF clinics, their lab technicians are actually instructed to report every semen sample is having teratosuspermia. There is no quality control. There is no documentation. It just says, oh, 97% of forms are abnormal. You have teratosuspermia. This is the reason for the infertility. Complete scam. Ideally, when you report teratosuspermia, the patient should be given a slide of the stained smear of the sperm so they can actually check the morphology and check whether that report was reliable or not and it's very easy to do this because all microscopes come these days with cameras so that this can be documented but because they hide the information from the patient because they want to convert that fertile man into an infertile man by misreporting the semen sample they don't do this and this is why patients don't trust IVF clinics anymore these days.